boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. Christmas is coming and there's no better thing. If you want to be father of the year and it hasn't been chosen yet, a 370 Explorer Outback. Now we've got two types of Explorers. We have a lower Explorer that's got Schwartz seats riveted and it's a bit lower and they're the traditional. Now it's a caravaner's favourite is the 350 Explorer. The Explorer Outback was brought out because they, people said they wanted higher sides. They're going up north, scared of lizards and things. Now get around the front here, Dan. Come on, Dan. Dan's getting tired, been doing YouTubes. I don't know what else he does. Now have a look at the hull on the Explorer. They are famous. And this has got, up to the top here, Dan, this has got Quintrex's unique pickle fork front. Now the pickle fork, most boats, if you brought this to here, that would be a normal boat. But Quintrex, because they've got R&D, because they're just another level over any other pressed alloy. They just are. Go and go in one and then go in someone else's. You'll just go in the Quintrex. They're better because of design. It, all Quinnies aren't the same. Now, all, all Tinnies aren't the same. Quintrex are better. Now, see this. They open it up. What does it do? It creates volume at the front. So you've got more room, more buoyancy. Anchor up here, good cleat, sword seat. You can put a floor in it if you want. Glove box with a couple of, with a couple of uh, drink holders in it. Up the back, got a couple of battery racks, fuel tank on one, fuel filter in the middle, you know, with a clear bowl. Even though it's a little tinny, we'd put a clear bowl because you're probably more likely to get water in one of these. Now, how do you get water in it? You, leave, you don't do it up when you finish. It's not full of fuel. And the fuel, we call it breeze because it expands and contracts. And as it contracts, it sucks water into your fuel tank. The water condenses, the air condenses and water goes in there. Over time, it fills up. But you just look in your fuel filter, you wind it off if you see any balls of water in there, all gone. Now. We've put the 25. Now Yamaha's 25, and this is power, trim and tilt, electric start, 25, called an LC. Changed everything, because it goes like the old two-stroke 25, weighs the same at 57 kilo, and it just flogs all other 25 four-strokes, right? You know, as a rule, I can't stand any four-strokes under. Oh, that's, that's a bit harsh. I love two-strokes, right? And I'll miss, I miss them. But all you can buy is four strokes. So over the side, we'll put the specs up, but have a look at this. Flesh water flush, which means you just put that off. You don't start the motor. You plug your hose in and it washes it. Over to this, because this is ingenious, Dan. Come around here on this side if you can, Dan, or do you want me to go on that side? He's caused me a bit of trouble today, isn't he? Now, this button here. Oh, we can't go up and down. No, that's your revs up and down for trawling. So all of you trout people, you barra people, you flathead people who want to trawl at walking pace, Boom, 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 50 RPM at a time. Slower, slower, slower until you get down to all, even below walking space all your own. On for something that needs fast, a pelagic, Spanish Mac. Now under there is where your trim and tilt is. Forward and reverse. Friction, I call it autopilot, because you turn it on, you do that up and it just stays there. Don't fall out, your boat's never coming back. Off and on, or on, off, right? And a lanyard. Have a quick look. Dan, beautiful boat. Let's get on the water and see how this goes with two fat blokes in it. Today we're in Caboolture River. It's just half an hour out of Brisbane. And you want to see it, it's just alive with fish and sea eagles and occasionally you get dugongs here, right? We call it pirate land because it's a place called Beachmere where there's all these creepy dudes living on the beach and in yachts and stuff. But anyway, I like them all. 25 Yamaha. What a game changer. Push the button, she started, you probably don't know. There's a couple of lights. And a warning, in case you have no water or no oil. Click her into gear, and off you could go. Now, have a look at these mangroves. Let's just say, watch this. 
So I'll trim it down. You ready, Dan? Ready. One, two, three. And I'm on the plane. All right. Now, I'll slow it down because we're going to do a bit of fast work there, but I wanted to just show you. So we're coming up here and we can see a little uh, creek running in there. And if you were lots of parts of Queensland, there'd be barra and this fish. And as the water comes out of there, little bait fish come out. And where there's little bait fish, there's bigger fish and the flathead and the pelagics. Now, see if you can hear this. I'll do an idle down. I hold the idle down. And you can hear it just getting slower and quieter. Now you hear that? Almost walking speed. Or I can hold it. And you can probably physically see it's just getting faster and faster. So you can you can cater. And the minute you touch it, it all comes off. You know, so we could run over to there. We've got power trim and tilt, electric start, it makes everything easy. Into here, put into reverse, back it off. You know, you could be throwing, you can see mud crab pots out here, fish in there, you got your mate staying there, back into forward. They're ergonomic. Now try and get it to stay because these explorers are famous. They are the most popular car topper, the 350, in Australia with caravanners because they're the best. You ready again? Now we want to go up. We've got some more mud crabs. One, two, three, four. We're on the plane and we're off. I'll trim out. And we're hooting. Woohoo! I do some turns. Sit stable. Turning. Ripping up. Water's coming out the back. Trim it down. Come out, because I don't like putting too much wake around the yachties. All right? It's where they live or they play on their yachts. See if you can get all those mangroves and where we are. You might even find the drone, find some fish. You know, because there's plenty in here. Queensland, it is just the land of plenty. You know, beautiful weather. We're in the third day of November. I was down in Victoria on the weekend. Rained the whole time. Cold as a frog I was, wet as a shag. I had a good time down there. I like Victoria, don't get me wrong, and I like Victorians. The only thing I can't understand is why you don't come all up here. Have a look at this, another couple of creeks coming in. Imagine anchoring off the centre there and just letting a couple of baits out. You could catch anything. There's blurters, or you call them Trevally, Flathead. You get snapper up here. Even at times, the tail will come up. Are you ready? So we've got the drone. Now, Dan, see if you can just get the front so you can see how this hull manoeuvres. We're going up. There's a bit of flotsam and jetsam up there. Are you ready? Up we go. Two people, 240 kilo. Trim it up a bit. And you're the king of the river rats here, aren't you? Maneuverable, stable. I've got the little cruise control, I turn that on. Friction plate, so you don't have to move the motor, it's not going everywhere. I can attend to a reel. <coughs> I can sort something, get tackle. Having a look. Oh, what a wonderful way to spend the weekend with your family. In a Quintrex with a Yamaha. Your wife knows you're coming home because that's what Yamahas do. Have a look, pirates are living there. Marched on the beach. We'll come around this boy. Pass these couple of boats. Look at it. What can I say? I'll stop. All right, I stop. The drone stops. I put it in neutral. All right, want to just manoeuvre over. You know, maybe you want to get a crab pot. You know, I get the, I get my, my gaff and hook the boy, pull it in. The kids love pulling it in because it's the suspense of what you're going to find. Little creek coming out. Cast a few little lures, maybe some soft plastics. Just let them drop, pop them up, let them drop. 
Don't forget the fish bite more likely on the drop than the hit lift. Most people don't catch fish because they've taken the bait and the, the plastic away from it. Don't give it a time. The minute that bait or that plastic hits the water, the fish know it's there. That's what they do. They're just the whole day looking, seeing what they can eat. Let's see stability over here. It's only a 370. It's a 370. You know, two blokes lift this up. Big wide, look, Dan's up there. Put it here. Trawling for flathead. I'd probably get a little bit closer, depending on what the sounder like to get on that bank at low tide. All the big flathead sit, sit off there. Or where I was near Lake Hume, I was in Aubrey-Wodonga. Lake Hume, riddled. It is absolutely riddled with Gurg oh, well, uh, Murray Cod, is what they call them down there, riddled. It must be thick, you could walk on them because of all the stocking that's come out of fishing licenses. I tell you, if you're looking for a boat for Christmas, if it's for you and your missus, or just for you, this in Baffle Creek, holy crackers, what a great weekend. This, couple of kids, you're just gonna change their life. Catching fish, crabs, prawning, go anywhere, easy to use. Great little boat. And then if you want to, boom, you're off. <coughs> oh, you know, take off. Water sports, I'd tow my kids on kneeboard. 25, get him into a big whip. Screaming, giggling, laughing. Come home and they're not that unhappy to do their homework. Because <coughs> you spent some time with them. And that's the secret of family. That's why it is a family. Could you spend time together? You know? Couple of blokes here and inflatables. So if you want to spend some time with your family, if you want a boat for Christmas, I suggest you call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. We've got the full range of Quintrex tinnies available. Motors. You can get them all before Christmas. You're still in the running of Father of the Year. It's not too late. Call Brisbane Yamaha, 3888 1727. Come and have a look at a boat. See you on the water.